It's the famous Chave gig bar move plus ILS, but with haze. Let's check it out. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel. Today's going to be a short video. Um, as you know, at our events, we use the Chave gig bar move plus ILS. I've always been a, f a huge fan of this lighting system. It's got everything that I need two high powered moving heads. Uh, and then you guys have also seen the modification that I did to it. Uh, I now have four washes, four wash pars on the system. I removed the derbies and I removed the laser. This is the perfect lighting system. And as you guys know, nowadays in these most modern venues, none of us DJs can use haze or fog. Um, it's just a standard now. It's not allowed in any venue. And a lot of venues are actually starting to shy away from cold sparks because of the fact that they let off a little bit of smoke as well. Now the gig bar move plus ILS is the perfect lighting system. You've seen it in my videos. It gives off a great ton of light, but it doesn't give off that atmospheric effect that we all want, right? The beams of light, the, the beams that you can actually see coming out that can only be ac uh, accomplished with haze or fog. The difference between haze and fog, fog is a lot more dense. It's heavier, it's thicker, um, more prone in my opinion to set off smoke alarms. Haze, you can set it, you can dial it down to where it just, like the word says, it's haze. Um, just give off enough atmospheric effect to let those beams of light from your lighting system, whether it be moving heads, wash pars, or lasers, shine through your dance floor. I have scoured YouTube all over the place. I cannot find many of you DJs out there along with myself that have used haze just because we all know whether I'm in Texas or New Jersey, California, a lot of these venues are not allowing haze. So we were finally at a venue about two weeks ago that allowed haze and fog. So we brought our haze machine out. It's been sitting in the storage for about four or five years. I didn't even know if this thing was going to work anymore. I had some haze fluid laying around. I brought it with me and it turned out perfect. I truly wish that all venues would allow us DJs to use at least haze, not so much fog, just because of the fact that it's really thick, it can smell. Um, but the haze and, oh, let me tell you this. I still had some Froggy's Fluid left over. If you guys have never been to Froggy's Fluid website, um, they sell these little scented oils that you could put in your haze machine. So I actually had some left over from years ago. I poured it in my haze machine. It was a cotton candy smell. And the band that we were playing with actually came over to me and asked me, why does your haze machine smell so good? And I had to tell them it's a, it's a liquid, it's a little oil that we put in there that gives off a really great scent. They have all kinds of scent, cotton candy. They even have marijuana scent, which is, I've tried it before. It's really hideous. Um, pineapple, they've got all kind of great scents. So check them out, froggiesfluid.com. But anyways, like I said, short video, I'm going to put some royalty free music over this just because the band was playing. The sound's not that great through the, the iPhone speaker or the microphone. And uh, the main point of this is just to let you see what the gig bar move plus ILS finally looks like with haze. So I'm gonna show you guys what the uh, gig bar ILS looks like with haze now that we're finally at a venue where we can utilize haze. This looks amazing. I wish we could use haze at every venue. Uh, it just gives a better effect. Look at that, 35 watt moving heads. So we are all set up.
Guys, so there it is. It's the Shave Gig Bar Move Plus ILS with Haze. Let me know what you thought about that. I mean, just the beams of light. You know, the moving heads on, on this system are now a strong 35 watts, I believe it is. Um, I think the old ones were 20, 20 to 25 watts. So this, they amped it up a lot, but with the haze, you can really see it shining through. So let me know what you thought about that, how it looks, what you think about the look now that you can truly see the beams. Um, and if any of you guys are using haze at any of your venues, um, wherever you're at, depending on whether they allow it or not. So like I said, thanks for tuning in. If you're not a subscriber, we'd love to have you. Those of you that keep coming back, thanks so much for the support. We're going to keep growing the channel and showing things like this. Also, we're going to be doing a lot of product spotlights and reviews. So see you on the next one.